Bob, the first time you met Francisco Rivera Ordonez, he was just 23 years old. How has he changed in the years since? Eleven years ago, Francisco was a rookie. He was just beginning in the game, was very nervous and very shy. And now, 20, now, and now, 11 years later, Francisco is not only a veteran, but he's beginning to think of retirement. He still looks very much the way he did 11 years ago. His face has filled out a bit, and he's very mature. He's beginning to branch out into other fields. He's an impresario now. He runs bull rings himself, and he has some businesses. He owns some farms. So he's just preparing the day when he will no longer be able to fight bulls, but he's not going to retire anytime soon. And in covering this story, you had the opportunity to view the world of bullfighting up close. What are your observations and impressions of the sport? When it's done well, when you have a top matador with a good bull on a good day, in a good ring, with a good crowd, it's frankly very exciting. The bullfight is a very artistic phenomenon. Bullfighting is covered not in the sports page of a newspaper, but in the cultural page. And watching a good matador with a bull, he's being very artistic. He's almost dancing. It can be a ballet with a bull. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. When it's not a good day, when the matador isn't so terrific and the bull isn't very good, it can be very gruesome.